In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CHO plus. So the first thing we need to do to write the CHO plus Lewis structure, count the valence electrons. Carbon group 14, sometimes called 4A, has four. Hydrogen's in group one. Oxygen, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. This positive, that means that we've lost a negative charge. We've lost an electron, so we need to subtract one. When we do that, we find that we have 10 total valence electrons for the CHO plus Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center. That's the carbon. The hydrogen always goes on the outside. So we'll put our hydrogen out here. Let's put our oxygen over here. So we can start, we have 10 total valence electrons, by putting pairs of electrons between atoms. That's going to form our chemical bond. Then we can complete the octet on the oxygen. So far we've used 6, 8, and there's 10. So we've used 10 valence electrons for our CHO plus Lewis structure. The problem is that the oxygen has an octet. The hydrogen, that's good too. It has two, so it's fine. But the carbon only has four. So we could move these two electrons here to form a double bond. The oxygen still has eight, but now the carbon has six. Let's move two more to form a triple bond. So now the carbon has eight and the oxygen has eight. Let's move these up here just for symmetry. So this is the Lewis structure for CHO+. Since it's an ion, we do need to put brackets around it. And then we'll put that positive sign on the outside. If we want to look at the molecular geometry for HCO+, note that we have hydrogen with a single bond, triple bond oxygen, and no lone pairs on the central carbon atom. So the purple will be the carbon atom in the center. We add our hydrogen, the single bond, the triple bond oxygen, and there aren't any lone pairs. So we end up with a linear molecular geometry, bond angle 180 degrees. And since we don't have any lone pairs on the central carbon there, the electron geometry is also linear. Back to our Lewis structure, we have that linear molecular geometry. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the geometry. A is the central carbon, X the number of atoms bonded, there are one, two. E is the number of lone pairs. There aren't any lone pairs. So if you look up AX2, you'd find that this is a linear molecular geometry, bond angle 180 degrees. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure, molecular geometry and bond angles for CHO+. Thanks for watching.